And last question on the June 2018 regions, question 37. This is a six-pointer. It actually has three parts. I actually found this is one of the easier last questions. This is one of the easier number 37s, if you will, in the past few years that I've seen. This is a system, which it traditionally is, and a coin system, if that. So the first part asked us to set it up. Um, so he has dimes and quarters. He has 90 of them. So that tells us D plus Q. I did let statements here. Um, some people use X and Y, D and Q, whatever you may use, doesn't matter. So if he has 90, we could say D plus Q equals 90. Now notice in my second equation, I'm incorporating coefficients because that's how much each dime is worth, 0 0.10, 0 0.1 I just wrote, and each quarter is 25 cents, 0 0.25, and if we add those up, we should get $17.55. So that system alone buys us two points. Now obviously we could probably assume we're going to be asked to solve this and then a follow-up after that. So how did I solve this here? What does it look like I'm doing? I utilize substitution. Now you could also do elimination if you'd like. Some people might rid this decimal. They might say 10D plus 25Q equals 1,755 just to make it a little bit more user-friendly. I did substitution. So I got D by itself. I replaced D in this equation with 90 minus Q, and now I have one variable that I could solve for. Do some arithmetic here, move the 9 over, I divide by 0.15. It's not 0.25 anymore because I combine the like term of negative 0.1, and I ultimately get there's 57 quarters. I don't want to stop there. This is a system. I need both solutions. If I know Q is 57, replace that with a 57. I get 33 dimes. So, hey, Dylan had 57 quarters and 33 dimes. And there is a follow-up. Actually involved percentages, weirdly enough. So Dylan's mom told him uh, she would replace each of his dimes with a quarter. If he uses all of his coins, would he have enough money to buy a game that was $20.98 if he also has to pay an 8% sales tax? So first of all, if his mom gives him 90 quarters and replaces all the dimes he had, how much money is he going to have? Do 90 times 0 0.25. So that's going to be 2250. So that's how much he has in this hypothetical situation. Now we're going to add, add the tax to the game, which was 2098. Why am I multiplying by 1.08? That would represent you adding 8% tax. If you just multiply by 0 0.08, that will tell you the tax, and then you could add it to the price, but this does both in one. And remember, 0 0.08 is the decimal representation of 8%. We get $22.66, which means, unfortunately, he's just short. So no, he doesn't have enough money. Um, would be like the one point kind of final follow-up of this question. Uh, you couldn't think of this as two, I guess, if you really do nothing, but setting up the system was worth two. Our solving process, we wanted to show all that nice work. And then this little little weird twist with a percentage add-on, I guess. We've never seen that. I've never seen that with a system. Uh, usually it would just say, like, was this possible in the middle? Hey, were these values possible? Uh, but this was an interesting one. But like I said, one of the easier question 37s that we've seen. And this concludes the June 2018 Regents exam. If you watched all these videos or maybe you just started with this one, uh, thank you for watching. And hopefully these videos helped and will help you next week with the June 2019 exam. Thanks for watching.